Hey, it's a new month, which means new gear here at the lounge. We like to quickly explore different EDC products we've been using or that have been sent out to us uh, each month. And here's what we've got for me. First up is this EDC marker slash highlighter combo. It's a unique product, the first of its type that I've come across. You can convert this guy from a felt tip marker to a highlighter by swapping out the ink cartridge. Now this does happen to meet a, a need of mine. A few months back, I made a video where I went over everything that I had in my double admin. And one of the items was this bright, tacky looking highlighter. Uh, and by contrast, this titanium highlighter just looks so much better in my carry. It's made from grade five titanium and has a simple bolt action style mechanism for ink deployment. And as I mentioned earlier, you have the choice of loading it with a highlighter refill or a felt tip marker refill. Now there are a couple different color options and finish options you can get as well. Uh, I opted for the black matte finish. And I've always thought someone should make an EDC style highlighter. I don't know if Mark Smith is the first, but they're the first I knew about. The Mark Smith comes in at 99 bucks and will continue to have a place in my double admin. Last month, we took a look at Nomad's universal cable. This month, we've got another one from Nomad, a USB-C cable. Now it comes in three sizes. There's a 0.3 meter size, a one and a half meter size, uh, which is the one I have here, uh, or a three meter size. The whole thing is wrapped in a very tough Kevlar braid, and it comes with a cinchable silicon tie. Uh, it can also support some serious wattage up to 100 watts for some really fast charging. It has quickly become my office charger. Uh, it charges all of my Apple devices, and I use this in tandem with their 30 watt power adapter. So if you've got any Apple devices, it's a really nice cable to have. Uh, it'll work with a wide range of Apple products, but I'd recommend going with the three meter if you're going to leave this on your desk or your nightstand. Uh, if you're gonna keep this in your bag and travel with it, I'd look at the one and a half or the 0.3 meter. The cable ranges from about $30 to 50 bucks, and you can pick it up at nomadgoods.com. This next one is a winner for sure. This is the Big Eye Design fountain pen. And I think Big Eye really hit it out of the park on this one. Um, it's an excellent pen, and I'm, I'm not gonna pretend that, that I'm a, a fountain pen expert, but this was uh, a pen that was a whole lot of fun to write with. It's pocket-sized and made from stonewashed titanium. It has a non-twist removable cap and is compatible with both ink and ink cartridges. It has a stainless steel nib uh, that's very smooth and pleasant to write with, and it comes with a lifetime guarantee. Now, the only downside is that when I'm not actively writing, uh, as, it, as it is the case with all fountain pens, I just need to frequently recap uh, so that the ink in the tip keeps from drying out. It has been one of my favorite new pens and you can pick it up for about a hundred bucks at BigEyeDesign.com. The last one for the day is the Senate by Exter. Now, this is a minimalist style of wallet that comes with some pretty neat features. The Senate consists of a back portion made from aluminum for storing cards along with a thin leather portion on the front. The whole thing is then wrapped in a cash strap for additional capacity. Now, there's a plastic button on the bottom that when pressed, splays out your cards at different heights, making them easy to grab. You can fit probably a half dozen or so cards in there. Now this wallet is going to be pretty stiff because of the aluminum holder, uh, which means it's not really going to contour to your back or your front pocket very well but that's okay as long as you're prepared for that and a mute issue altogether if you just throw it in your bag. The Senate comes in at around 70 bucks and is a really neat piece of EDC gear. Okay, that's it for the month of April. Links to everything are in the description below. See you next month.